So on the bottom here, you'll see that there's a tab that says look up. And um, if I select here a um, combo box, and I heard someone talking about this recently. Um, this is a really poor name for this control uh, combo box. Um, it's really like a select list or a drop down list, like the one that we're using right now. This this tooling right here where you click this arrow at the right side and you get this list of items you can select from one item. That's what Access calls a combo box. And um, you can't really select a combination of anything. So I don't know, it's just what, and again, it goes back to that thing I was talking about naming is that one of the hardest things com programmers have when they're building something is what to name something and they decided on combo box and that's just what stuck and that's what's there now um, here you get to pick a row site type and I'm just gonna pick a value list and uh, I'm gonna make this value list right here I think I make it right here yeah I can make this thing right here this value list so what do we want we want uh, Bible study that is a, a type of uh, service someone may attend. Uh, we have um, a uh, PM, serv PM church service. We have an AM church service. And this is just us and what we're doing. I don't know what other churches are doing. Um, but as far as at the church that I'm at, this is basically the three types of church services we have. So this is a list of the items that are going to show up in the table or even in the form as to what you can select from. Okay, so I'm going to press OK. Now I can um, go to this view here and it's going to want me to give my table a name. I'm trying to switch to the, the data view of this table and because I haven't saved it yet, it wants me to uh, name the table. And I'm going to put... Uh, visitation dates uh, I don't know if that's the best name for this table but uh, we're gonna go with it for right now see there's no primary key and if I press yes I don't know if it's gonna add another field or if it's gonna go with the auto number that I added so I'm gonna say yes and it did and what it did was it went with the auto number value that I already added and that's basically what I wanted anyway so let's go back to design for a second this contact ID this number is going to tie back to this number over here and um, uh, that has something to do with what access calls referential integrity uh, access is what's called a, a referential database um, it was an RMDB a uh, referential management database uh, system or whatever um, what, what it means is, is that records have to be tied back to other records for you to be able to use them properly in what are called queries or basically finding information for you to be able to look at one contact and all of the visits that they had you have to have this link between the two records and that's basically what this value right here is for so this value even though it's a number and right now I can edit it it really shouldn't be edited manually, but I'm going to do it right now just to show you how it works. So going back to this view of the data here, this value is going to be one because that's the only record I have. And when you, you so this is really cool. I like this here and I want to show this. When you have a value, going back to our thing here, this date value, this date time value, um, you'll notice that when I go to this field it automatically gives me a little calendar that I can use to select a date um, of the visit that I'm trying to record for this individual contact um, uh, that's that's because this value can only be a date uh, in my service type I can't I don't think I can type anything in here Yes, I can. That's pretty cool, too. Uh, and that's going to be helpful later on. Uh, it appears I can put any value I want in this text type, but I can be, 
I can select from certain types in there. That's kind of neat too. Uh, do I know I want to do that or not right yet? I'm just going to leave it that way for now. Uh, let's say that they came out Sunday. All right, well, they wouldn't have come to a uh, church uh, Bible study because we don't have Bible study on Sunday. We have church service. Let's say they came to the morning service. And that's it. Now I got a new record that I can relate back to my contact here. And it will give me, you know, this person and their visits. Let's go ahead and add one more visit on here. Again, I only have one contact. Let's go ahead and say that they came out Sunday again. And they came out to the PM church service. And I'll put one more in here. that They came out last Wednesday because our church has Bible study on Wednesday. And I'll say it was a Bible study. Okay, so now I have three records of attendance for my contact and uh, three different times. And this could go into a conversation of restricting, you know, what do I want to be able to put that this person went to church Sunday the 26th of November uh, to 2 p.m. church services. Uh, you can set this up so that these have records have to be unique, uh, but I'm not going to do that right yet. Not going to do that right yet.